and started your timer and here is your question. <laughs> Right, so if you have read and understood, considering a clinical examination station, can you okay. please begin? Okay. Hi, good morning. Yes, my good morning. Name, yeah, my name is Dr. Malik Amon of the Surgical Doctors working for Mr. Mann. Uh, I've been asked to examine the nerves that supplies uh, your face and neck. Right? So, do you have any pain at the moment? No. Okay. Are you happy for me to proceed? As you wish, doctor. Okay. Thank you so much. Sir. So, uh, I'm I'm going to check the sense of smell of yours. Okay. Would you please close your eyes and close one nose string? Okay. Okay. Can you detect this odor or smell? No. No. Can you do it for the other side? Okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> That's fine. You have any prayer problem with your smell? No. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to check your vision. Okay. Do you have any? Are you wearing any glasses? No. Or any lenses? No. Okay. Glasses you can see. Hmm? Yep. So, uh, can you please look at that chart, Snell chart, and can you read the, the first line of that chart? Uh, no, doctor, I can't. Okay, it's no. double. I can't see what's written. Okay, if you just come closer, can you see it a bit, a bit uh, uh, clearer? Something is written, but I can't read it. No problem. Okay. Okay. So uh, I would like just to shade lights your eyes to check for the pupil. All right, pupil is equal. No problem. So I would like just to swing the light, swinging. All right, no problem. Now I, I, I would like to check your visual field. Would you please close your right eye for me? Okay. I will be closing your uh, my right eye as well. And when you see my finger wiggles, just let me know, okay? I will be doing the superior temporal area, inferior temporal area. Can you see that? No. Okay. Can you see the uh, nasal area? No. Okay. On the other side, please, the same. Okay. Okay. And here, and here. Still, you can't see on the peripheries. No. I can't. Okay. So I'm just going to check your eye movement. Just look at my at my face here and and fix your face and follow my finger. Whenever you whenever you feel Double vision, just let me know. Okay. Okay. I will do the edge later to check for the extra ocular muscle. Okay. Now I I I suppose to do a corneal reflex here, but for the sake of the exam, I will do it later. Okay. Now I'm now I'm checking the sensation in your face. Can you feel this cotton wool? No. In your chest? No. Okay, I will be uh, just uh, touching three levels of your face here and here and here, right? So it's apparently you can't you can't feel it. No problem. I will be trying the pin brick this time. The same areas. Okay. Can you clinch your teeth for me, please? Okay. Checking for the masseter and the temporalis muscle. Now I I would like 
to do a jaw reflection. Okay, yeah. A little bit weakness. All right. Now I'm going to check the muscles that uh, the nerve that supplies the muscle of your facial expression. Would you please close your eye tightly and prevent me from opening them? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Would you please blow your cheeks? Okay. Thank you so much. Can you show me your teeth again? Can you clinch your neck? Okay. Thank you so much. Now I'm going uh, to whisper in your both your ears. All right? Uh, just repeat what I'm saying to you. 55. 55. Oh, 66. 66. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to do this test. So first of all, I will do a Rene test in the mastoid and check for the conductive bone. Okay, and we'll do the uh, air conduction as well. And I will do the re the Weber test. For the sake of, of the recording, I, I'm not uh, describing how is it. Okay, I would like to go and do a uh, otoscopy, but for the sake of the uh, exam, I will go to check for the uh, glossopharyngeal and, and vagus at the same time. Would you please do A for me? Okay. Open your mouse and do it. I will be looking at the uvula. Yes, it's moving perfectly. No deviation, no ulceration. Nothing can be seen here. Can you please take a sip of water and drink it? Swallow it for me, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Can you just shrug your, your, your shoulders for me? Yes. Yeah. And turn your, your neck, that side and this side. Okay, perfect. Now I finished my examination. Thank you so much. Okay. Now um okay. can you please summarize your examination now? I've I've examined this gentleman and uh, for the cranial nerve affection. On examination, there is uh, uh the olfactory nerve is this uh, there is disturbed sense of smell and there is bitemporal hemonobia with uh <coughs> slight uh then uh, with a slight parathesia over the distribution of the trigeminal nerve. The, uh, the uh, 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 three, uh, four, and five cranial nerves are intact. Post patient does not express any diplobia. And uh, <clears throat> the uh, facial nerve and the uh, vestibulococular nerve both are intact uh, as long as the uh, accessory and hypoglossal. Good. My final diagnosis for this patient is uh, because he has insomnia and bitemporal hemonobia, I would like to consider anterior fossa, anterior cranial fossa tumor. What are the, can, if you can uh, tell me, what are the common anterior cranial fossa tumors that you know about? Yes. Uh, usually the anterior cranial fossa having uh, benign neoplasm. Okay, okay, from the structure, either from the uh, uh, orbit bone or from the uh, meninges. Can you quickly, if you can name few. Okay, uh, angiofibroma, uh, angio uh, medulloblastoma, meningioma. All right, okay. how do you plan to manage this patient? I will, first of all, I would like to complete my examination by do <laughs> a prevailed mental sport test. Okay, to check for the cognition of this patient, and I would like to consider uh, a multidisciplinary team, including yes, yes, and uh, arrange for uh, for CT scan M MRI to take this patient. Yes, and what should be the management or treatment that you can offer? Yeah, it it, it depends on the stage. If the the yes. the tumor is operable, I will go for transesphenoid or transnasal or upper lip surgery. Okay, yes. otherwise. Otherwise, I will consider chemo radiotherapy. Okay. Can you also tell me if uh, what was the okay? What was the name of the chart that was used for visual equity? It is it's, it's Nellen chart. Okay. Uh, what was the distance from which you asked the patient to sit or chart was placed? At what okay, distance? I, 
Yeah, Can ideally, the patient must be sit uh, six meters away. If he cannot see very well, you must uh, get him closer by three meters. If he cannot see that well, come closer by one meter. If he still he cannot see, just do the the finger counting. Okay. Uh, why would you think, uh, or what do you intend to see in fundoscopy? In fundoscopy, I will be uh, seeing at the macula and at the the base of the retina to see if there is any uh, uh, papilledema of any degeneration okay. yeah, or okay. any bleeding or maybe a, a, a tumor inside the, the macula as well. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah.